Then, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are. I hope you'll kind of forgive me if I smoke. You know, I don't really have to. It's just, uh, well, it's because in this damp weather, my sinus, uh, well, I mean, you know, sometimes just before a show, I like to, well, it's not that so much. It's, uh, well, I just can't live without the darn thing. Uh, actually, though, I have cut down quite a bit. Oh, I sure used to smoke it up pretty good, I did. I was a real butt burner. I was, I was, a, I was a one man smog alert. If, li if I'm lying, I'm dying. I used to, you know, all the. Matter of fact, I got a home movie here that proves just how much I used to smoke. Say, hey, will you put that film on for us, please, Mrs. Kalmus? <laughs> Now, at that point, I began to suspect that if I kept smoking that way, it just might become habit for me. <laughs> and I am no slave to habit, not me, no. I am slave to one wife, three children, and two sponsors. So, there you are. And here I am, and, uh, well, let's get it over with. <laughs> Double Rich Pet Evaporated Milk and the new Miracle Milk product, Instant Pet Non-Fat Dry Milk. Two great products present... The George Goble Show with pretty, perky Peggy King. Miss Jeff Donnell. John Scott Trotter and his tintinabulating troubadours. Starring George Goble. Just look. Hard to tell, isn't it, which is mother, which is daughter? Because this young mother knows how to stay young. Part of her secret is Instant Pet, the wonderful new milk without fat. And I've asked her to tell you about it. Well, frankly, I don't want to get fat, but I do want to feel good. And Instant Pet has things like protein and vitamins that help keep me feeling wonderful. But none of the high calorie fat. But you forgot the best part, Mom. What's that? It tastes good. But I thought everybody knew that. <laughs> It's wonderful. How about letting delicious Instant Pet help you stay young looking? Each handy glass jar makes four quarts of milk without fat for only about eight cents a quart. Enjoy it soon. Instant Pet non-fat dry milk. <laughs> And now, friends, sing Hey Nani Nani, for here is the star of our show, that champion of the underdog and terror to the tyrant, George Goble. Thank you, thank you, fellow underdogs, and uh, sympathetic overdogs, and to any tyrants who may be in the audience, all right for you guys. Now, uh, this evening, before we really get going, I'd like to call the roll and make sure that the cast is all here. Uh, Art Gilmore? You know I'm here. Yeah. Check. Peggy King? Here, George. Check. John Scott Trotter? Abundantly here. <laughs> Check. Jeff Donnell? Present. Check. Esther Williams? <laughs> Esther Williams? <laughs> Esther Williams? 
Well, I... I guess she must have slipped out. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we'll just cancel the underwater ballet featuring Miss Williams and a tank full of live bait. <laughs> and, uh, tonight instead... Well, I'll just tell you about our little boy, Greg Goble. Now, we think Greg is our little boy. We're not sure. You see, many years ago, he followed our dog home from school. <laughs> and he's a likable little dude, so we kept him on. You see, uh, no, I'm just lying. You know, I, I said that, you know, so you wouldn't confuse this with a dramatic show. <laughs> uh, we actually got Greg the regular way, group insurance hospital plan. <laughs> Anyway, last week they were having a paper drive at Greg's school, so Alice and I were helping him out. You remember Alice, of course, the mother of Greg, the wife of George, and the sweetheart of Sigma Chi. <laughs> Sigma Chi is the name of the PTA that Alice belongs to. Uh, the girls wanted a name with a little dash to it. <laughs> so anyway, Alice and I were up in our attic rummaging around here, I'll tell you what, you all come with me, and Uncle John, will you flash us back with some attic rummaging music, please? George! George! Yes, honey? Will you come up here, please? All right. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> George, how did you get up here? Electronics. <laughs> Honey, look what I found. The bill from the hotel where we spent our honeymoon. Oh, the Tarzana Statler. <laughs> you, know, you know, I had so much fun at, on that honeymoon that I didn't even put it down as a business expense. <laughs> you know, there's one thing that I don't understand here, and I never have figured it out, how come they charged more for your room than they did for mine? Oh, I remember, George. I had the honeymoon suite. Yeah, that's right. I wanted a corner room where I could keep an eye on the car. That wasn't necessary. For two days, your mother was sitting in it with the motor running. Yeah. Yeah, she never did figure our marriage would take hold, did she? <laughs> and look at us now, 14 years and three children later. Yeah, let's see, Greg, Georgia, yeah. <laughs> Honey, hmm? would you run out and ask Mom to shut off the motor? George, come on now, we've got to get started with the paper drive. Here, we can throw this away, it's our high school yearbook. Oh, now, oh, come on now, you're not... This is a first edition. Sure it is. Just listen to this dedication. We hold the torch of life up high and watch it flicker against the sky. And what it means, we, we know, know, we, we know. know. Go, go Rough riders, riders, go, 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 go on, you Rough Riders, go. I'll wave your banners. Halt. One, two. Come on, George. Look at my picture. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Girls are wearing them now. <laughs> I do look funny, don't I? Yeah, well, I'll tell you. Uh, funny is not exactly the word I had in mind. What's it say under my picture, George? I can read it. I graduated. It was a little kinky, but I graduated. Let's see now. Alice Hummocky. Is that the way you pronounce that? <laughs> Alice Hummocky, varsity hockey, hall guard, lunchbox monitor, <laughs> racing editor, school paper, class chaplain, <laughs> lumber buyer, manual training club, <laughs> marine recruiting, sophomore class, and GAA. Hey, you know, Alice, you, you sure were civic-minded. I was vice president of the Polish club, but they left that out. <laughs> What's it say under your picture, George? Well, George Goble. Varsity Garden Club. 
Chairman, Student Memorial to Warren G. Harding Fund. <laughs> Technocracy Society, Manager Soccer Team, and GAA. GAA? GAA is Girls Athletic Association. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it sure was a lot more fun than blowing up them soccer balls. George, I don't remember you in the GAA. Well, I remember you in the GAA. You were the tall girl who fell on people. <laughs> Oh, look. I almost forgot to put this in here. Look, it, it's my prom corsage. I can't stand flat flowers. <laughs> so, you're just jealous because I went to the prom with Gordon Fleischpresser. I'm Gordon. Who could be jealous of old Dingbat's Fleischpresser? He was very romantic. Just look what he wrote under my picture. To Alice, a girl whose beauty, grace, charm, and soft loving arms I shall never forget. In memory of tender moments, love, Gordon. Now you see why we called him Dingbat's? <laughs> and just look what you wrote underneath that. Oh what? no, oh no. Too hummocky, you're keen, G. Goble. Keen? Keen? That's clean. Come on, George, and help me with this paper dry. To get on with our... Excuse me. I set my wristwatch alarm to be sure and remind me to make an announcement at this juncture. Special announcement. Will the person in our audience driving a maroon convertible with Texas license plates, cowhide upholstery, and steer horns on the radiator, please go out and move your car. Some happy-go-Charlie staggered by and he's trying to milk it. <laughs> but it's not so funny, he's spilling oil all over the parking lot. Thank you. Now we, uh... Oh, did you notice how quick I shut off my wrist alarm? And there was a reason for that. I'll show you what I mean. You see, that's not the alarm. That's just a warning to let you know that the alarm is going to go off. You see, so often on the... Many times you find... I was afraid when I first walked the watch that maybe the... I got it. You know, sometimes I think really the warning's quite enough. But uh, the reason I brought it up is you must really admit that this is a masterpiece of the watchmaker's craft. It's an imported watch from Switzerland. And it's called an Einsteiner Blaser Glocknickspiel Einken, which is Swiss for wake the town and tell the people. <laughs> Wake the town and tell the people. Now you can tell, you can tell that this watch is from Switzerland. And you know how you, hey, come here. This watch, you can tell it's from Switzerland, you can tell by the band. The band is made of genuine Swiss chocolate. Now this isn't a hot weather band, you understand. This is the, oh, and the way I got this watch is through an ad in the mail. I'm all the time getting ads in the mail. Are you all the time getting ads in the mail? I am all. My name must be on every sucker list in the United States and at least three foreign countries. I once bought a pizza direct from Rome. And I remember because it came on the very same day as my can of irradiated whale blubber from Greenland. And uh, the ad for that one really got me. That was a dandy. The, the way they advertise that whale blubber, uh, well, in this one, the picture showed this handsome boy and beautiful girl, both in bathing suits. And uh, they're embracing on the beach in the moonlight. And uh, underneath it said, uh, you never saw an Eskimo go to the dentist. <laughs> And you know I never did. 
and I watch all the time. Oh, another thing that I bought, another thing I bought through the mail, and I bought it because uh, I didn't need it, but I could put it on my Winos Club card. And, uh, I wanted to use that one time, you know. So I got this thing all the way from Tibet. And you can get a lot of good bargains in Tibet. They, uh, oh, don't overlook them because they sell stuff cheap because it's out of the high rent district. <laughs> and uh, this thing that I bought, it's the night. Well, what it is is, uh, uh, well, how would you? It's uh, well, I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I know I got it. I, uh, I got it sitting on the mantel at home. And um, I tried plugging it in, but it, it doesn't light up. <laughs> and uh, I tried watering it every day, but it didn't grow. <laughs> the only clue we've had so far is, is when we feed the dog. This thing hops off the mantle, runs over, and eats part of the food. <laughs> but uh, I'll say one thing for it. I've never heard it make an un-American remark. <laughs> Oh, I tell you true, I get, I get a lot of ads in the mail. They don't even bother to address them to me by name anymore. I answer ads addressed to a box holder or occupant. And I always send away for the stuff they're selling, you know. Of course, I sign my checks box holder or occupant, <laughs> as the case may be. But uh, I got quite a reputation as a buyer, evidently. You see, last week I received an ad that was addressed simply to over San Fernando 3, California. And I'm all the time answering them. I, I'm, uh, hey, are you all the time answering them, Uncle John? As a matter of fact, George, no. I have great resistance to ads in the mail, but uh, just one kind. Well, what's that? Uh, ad for food. Food? Yes. You may not believe me, George, but I'm really quite fond of food. You may not believe me, Uncle John, but I believe you. George, you think I'm getting too big? Oh, I don't know, Uncle John. What are you trying to be? George, you're a culture. Oh. <laughs> say, I'll say one thing about that Uncle John. He sure adds a lot of movement to the show. George, can I do my song now? Uh-huh. Hey, Peg, you know what? You sure look keen tonight. Keen or clean? <laughs> Both, Peg. Signed, G. Gobel. <laughs> George, you know, I've got on some new lipstick tonight, and it's flavored. Would you like to see what flavor it is? I sure would. Alice, remember, this is all strictly in the interests of science. <laughs> See, that has a sort of a, sort of a fruit flavor, Peg. Well, it's made of natural fruit juices, George, and it comes in five flavors. Which one was that? That was, uh... <laughs> strawberry. No. No, oh, I missed it. You... I have to try it again. All right. <laughs> It's domestic, but good. <laughs> what flavor? Uh, strawberry. No. Mm. I'll just have to try it one more time. Right. Or no, no, Peg, I hadn't better. You know, this could become habit forming, and as previously stated, I am no slave to habit. You better sing. I knew all the time it wasn't strawberry. <laughs> I knew from the very first it was Swiss chocolate. <laughs> I ought to know it tastes just like my watch band. <laughs> Love and marriage, love and marriage. 
marriage Go together like a horse and carriage This I tell you, brother You can't have one without the other Love and marriage, love and marriage It's an institute you can't disparage Dad was told by mother You can't have one without the other Try, try, try to separate them It's an illusion Try, try, try and you will only come to this conclusion Love and marriage Love and marriage Go together like a horse and carriage Dad was told by mother You can't have one without the other Try to separate them It's an illusion will only come to this conclusion love and marriage love and marriage go together like a horse and carriage dad was told by mother you can't have one you can't have none you can't have one without We're going to take time out for another commercial. I figure this way, if they show you commercials at movie theaters where you pay to get in, we can show you commercials at home where you get in free, right? See, I, now I assume that you get in free at your house. I don't get in free at my house. Alice put a turnstile on the front door. <laughs> Strikes me about cheer. But it's all right, it's her only source of income. See, I don't give her an allowance or anything like that. I don't believe in that. It spoils them. Uh, oh, I give her enough to buy a turnstile. <laughs> I figured it'd keep her brother out. But it doesn't. It's a pretty good old turnstile, though, I'll say. It strikes me about cheer. <laughs> and the uh, trouble is, I'm the only one it keeps out. <laughs> Striking me as it does about cheer. <laughs> I've never seem to have any change in my pocket. And I'm too honest to sneak in. I'm too honest even to sneak in a commercial on you. And that's why I say right out, here's our commercial for our sponsor two weeks from tonight. Two weeks from tonight, the George Goble Show will be brought to you by Dial Shampoo, Dial Soap, and Liquid Chiffon. You know, he's right. He's right. They're all made by the same people, you know. Oh, and anyone caught leaving the room is going to miss a big surprise we have coming up. Now, you just watch this commercial. We kind of hope that it strikes you about cheer. <laughs> Uh-oh, there are all those dishes again. And dried egg yolk on every plate. Ah, but that's no problem now with new liquid chiffon. The new liquid detergent made especially to wash dishes cleaner, faster, easier. Liquid chiffon is so extra rich, a capful washes a whole sink full of dishes. And those extra rich, quick-acting suds wash off even that dried egg yolk in seconds. Yet your dishwater always feels soft on your hands because liquid chiffon is so very gentle. You no longer need to wear slippery rubber gloves. And remember, dishwashing tests with other leading detergents prove that a can of liquid chiffon lasts 60% longer than package detergents. So get new liquid chiffon tomorrow in the unbreakable can with the drip-proof spout. Save your money, your hands, and dishwashing time with new liquid chiffon. The George Goble Show has been brought to you by Double Rich Pet Evaporated Milk and the new Miracle Milk product, Instant Pet Non-Fat Dry Milk. Two gentlemen, Farland Myers and Hal Levy, have written a Thanksgiving song which beautifully expresses the feelings of all Americans this time of the year. 
And by way of wishing all of you a happy holiday, I'd like to sing it. And that's the big surprise I promised you. I, I hope it's a big surprise. give thanks this Thanksgiving for the life that I'm living for my home and my land and for men who lend a friendly hand I'll give thanks this November for it's well to remember we breathe air that's as free as the whole wide world should always be I'm thankful for rain that falls to earth the earth that's mine to sow for sunlight that warms the birth of every seed that needs to grow, wants to grow. I'll give thanks this Thanksgiving for the life that I'm living and this bountiful Gilmore saying goodnight for the George Goble Show, a Gomalco production. George! George! Yes, honey? Will you come up here, please? All right. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> George, how did you get up here? Electronics. <laughs> Honey, look what I found. The bill from the hotel where we spent our honeymoon. Oh, the Tarzana Statler. <laughs> no. You know, I had so much fun at, on that honeymoon that I didn't even put it down as a business expense. <laughs> you know, there's one thing that I don't understand here, and I never have figured it out. How come they charge more for your room than they did for mine? Remember, George, I had the honeymoon suite. Yeah, that's right. I wanted a corner room where I could keep an eye on the car. That wasn't necessary. For two days, your mother was sitting in it with the motor running. Yeah, yeah she never did figure our marriage would take hold, did she? Yeah. And look at us now, 14 years and three children later. Yeah, let's see. Greg, Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> Honey. Hmm? Would you run out and ask Mom to shut off the motor? George, come on now. We've got to get started with the paper drive. Here, we can throw this away. It's our high school yearbook. Oh, now. Oh, come on now. You're not... This is a first edition. Sure it is. Just listen to this dedication. We hold the torch of life up high and watch it flicker against the sky. And what it means, we, we know, know, we know. Go, go Rough Riders, go, 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 go on, you Rough Riders, go. Go, 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 go. I'll wave, I'll wave your banners. Halt, one, two, we're with. <laughs> Double Rich Pet Evaporated Milk and the new Miracle Milk product, Instant Pet Non-Fat Dry Milk. Two great products present...
The George Goble Show. With pretty, perky Peggy King. Miss Jeff Donnell. John Scott Trotter and his tintinabulating troubadours. And starring George Goble. to tell, isn't it, which is mother, which is daughter. Because this young mother knows how to stay young. Part of her secret is Instant Pet, the wonderful new milk without fat. And I've asked her to tell you about it. Well, frankly, I don't want to get fat, but I do want to feel good. And Instant Pet has things like protein and vitamins that help keep me feeling wonderful. But none of the high calorie fat. But you forgot the best part, Mom. What's that? It tastes good. But I thought everybody knew that. It's wonderful. How about letting delicious Instant Pet help you stay young looking? Each handy glass jar makes four quarts of milk without fat for only about eight cents a quart. Enjoy it soon. Instant Pet non-fat dry milk. <laughs> Now, friends, sing Hey Nani Nani, for here is the star of our show, that champion of the underdog and terror to the tyrant, George Goble. Thank you, thank you, fellow underdogs, and uh, sympathetic overdogs, and to any tyrants who may be in the audience, all right for you guys. Now, this evening, before we really get going, I'd like to call the roll and make sure that the cast is all here. Uh, Art Gilmore? You know I'm here. Yeah. Check. Peggy King? Here, George. Check. John Scott Trotter? Abundantly here. <laughs> Check. Jeff Donnell? Present. Check. Esther Williams? <laughs> Esther Williams? <laughs> well, I, I guess she must have slipped out. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we'll just cancel the underwater ballet featuring Miss Williams and a tank full of live bait. <laughs> and uh, tonight instead, well, I'll just tell you about our little boy, Greg Goble. Now, we think Greg is our little boy. We're not sure. You see, many years ago, he followed our dog home from school. <laughs> and he's a likable little dude, so we kept him on. You see, uh, no, I'm just lying. You know, I, I said that, you know, so you wouldn't confuse this with a dramatic show. <laughs> we actually got Greg the regular way, group insurance hospital plan. <laughs> Anyway, last week they were having a paper drive at Greg's school, so Alice and I were helping him out. You remember Alice, of course, the mother of Greg, the wife of George, and the sweetheart of Sigma Chi. <laughs> Sigma Chi is the name of the PTA that Alice belongs to. Uh, the girls wanted a name with a little dash to it. <laughs> so anyway, Alice and I were up in our attic rummaging around, here, I'll tell you what, you all come with me, and Uncle John, will you flash us back with some attic rummaging music, please? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are. I hope you'll kind of forgive me if I smoke. You know, I don't really have to. It's just, uh, well, it's because in this damp weather, my sinus, uh, 
Well, I mean, you know, sometimes just before a show, I like to... Well, it's not that so much. It's, uh... Well, I just can't live without the darn thing. <laughs> Uh, actually, though, I have cut down quite a bit. Oh, I sure used to smoke it up pretty good. I did. I was a real butt burner. I was, I was a, I was a one-man smog alert. If, li if I'm lying, I'm dying. I used to, you know, all the. Matter of fact, I got a home movie here that proves just how much I used to smoke. Hey, will you put that film on for us, please, Mrs. Calmus? <laughs> Now, at that point, I began to suspect that if I kept smoking that way, it just might become habit for me. <laughs> and I am no slave to habit, not me, no. I am slave to one wife, three children, and two sponsors. So, there you are. And here I am, and, uh, well, let's get it over. Come on, George, look at my picture. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Girls are wearing them now. I do look funny, don't I? Yeah, well, I'll tell you, uh, funny is not exactly the word I had in mind. What's it say under my picture, George? I can read it. I graduated. It was a little kinky, but I graduated. Let's see now. Alice Hummocky. Is that the way you pronounce that? <laughs> Alice Hummocky, Varsity Hockey, Hall Guard, Lunchbox Monitor, <laughs> Racing Editor, School Paper, <laughs> Class Chaplain, <laughs> Lumber Buyer, Manual Training Club, <laughs> Marine Recruiting, Sophomore Class, <laughs> and GAA. Hey, you know, Alice, you, you sure were civic-minded. I was vice president of the Polish club, but they left that out. <laughs> What's it say under your picture, George? Well, George Goebel. Varsity Garden Club. <laughs> Chairman, Student Memorial to Warren G. Harding Fund. <laughs> Technocracy Society. Manager Soccer Team and GAA. <laughs> GAA is Girls Athletic Association. Yeah. You know, it sure was a lot more fun than blowing up them soccer balls. George, I don't remember you in the GAA. Well, I remember you in the GAA. You were the tall girl who fell on people. George, oh look. I almost forgotten to put this in here. Look, at, it's my prom corsage. I can't stand flat flowers. 